Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can collect leads from your website and send them to an autoresponder. Okay, so I'm using Elementor forms or create a form on Elementor, collect the leads and send them to your MailChimp account. So it is very easy, it's something that you can do easily. Okay, so if you have a website and you have not built a mechanism to generate leads, then it means you are losing some customers. When I call leads, I mean people who have shown interest in your product or services that you render. So come with me. So the first thing is to go to the page where you have your phone. Or we can simply add, create a new page. Okay, so add a page here. Click on add new. Add the page title. So YouTube lesson. So publish this page, publish, so your page is live, so edit with Elementor, so you are in your Elementor, so we're going to add a section here, So we are adding a form here. So type form. So drag the form and drop here. So as you can see, we have our form here. So this form is too wide. I'll select the section and come to layout here. And then I'll put maybe 500 as the width of the form. Of course, you can come to advance and adjust the, the padding as well. You, you can still reduce the size. Okay. So now maybe I want to increase the top padding so that there will be space up there. Or maybe the margin. I uh, can still do that here. So maybe 100 just for it to come inside here. Yeah. So I have this now. So of course, I don't want the message here. So I'll remove the message box away. So I want just email and the name. So then I don't want these names to display there. I'll remove label. So I have this like this. Uh, this is OK for me. If you want to change any colors, um, change the button, anything, we'll just come to style. We're able to change all the colors. So, but that's not what we want to do. We are concerned more about the content. So you have the content there, maybe button. We may decide to change the button to maybe submit. You can put anything you want actually. So now, this is where you are going to collect your emails and the names of your leads, okay? So look at after submission. After submission, what should happen, okay? So you have two actions here, collect submission and email. So if you come back to your dashboard, any form your website visitors submit here, Elementor is going to record it on your dashboard, okay? So when you come back to your dashboard, and you click on Elementor, look at the Elementor here, and then Submissions. So if you click on Submissions, all the form details submitted will display here. As you can see here, these are the details that were submitted from my form on the contact page. Okay, so this one we are creating now too will be recorded here. It will just show the page here as Home Lessons, a YouTube lesson. This does the name of our page, and then the, the form ID. Um, the details will be here. So, but we want a copy of those emails to be sent directly to our MailChimp account so that our email sequence will take effect immediately. Okay. So, when you come to this place, you click here, that is action after submit, click here and then select MailChimp. Of course, you can select other email marketing platforms. Okay. So, you have Convert Kit, you have Mail, Mailer Lights, you have all of them here. Get responses there. So we're going to be using MailChimp. So click on MailChimp here. See that it has been added. So when you come down here, you now see MailChimp will show up here. Click on it. 
and then you'll be asked to input your, your API key. You are going to select custom and then put it. So, but we have not generated our API key yet. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to generate API key from Mailchimp. So, go to your Mailchimp account. Come to your Mailchimp account, click on your profile here, come to accounts, so when you come here, come to extras, so look at API keys, API keys, We'll scroll down to create a key. As I say, I already have one created one key there. So you create a key. So this is uh, your API key here. You name it. Affiliate marketing signups. So generate key. You can give it any name so that you'll be able to just to be able to remember okay so this is my api key here i'll now copy it i'll click on done but first i will create a tag for the new audience so that it will i'll be able to segment them so i'll come to audience here so i'll click on audience click on tags here So I'll create a tag and I'll name it Affiliate Marketing Sign Up. So create. So now I will come back. Remember, I copied my API key. So I'll come back to my phone here. And then I'll click on custom and then I'll paste my API key here. Automatically it will load and bring in my audience from MailChimp. As you can see, it's loading here. So, audience select computer skills, use the audience, and then the tags now, so putting the tag here which is am sign ups you come down and then select this field mapping okay so this is your detail details in your mailchimp so you are selecting details on your form here to match it okay so basically that's that's all that's what you will do there so now you update let's go back and test this so exit so i'm in incognito mode now so this is our new form here so i will now click on fill in login details Fill in my details. So this is how your website visitors will, will submit their details. Okay. So now if you click on submit, the form will be submitted. So of course, if you want to redirect them to another page, you can still do that. In your elemental so but do not set up that so once they submit come back to your elemental uh, submissions here so let's refresh this so once we refresh you now see the details here i submitted two times that's why you have seen it to 
here. So let's check our MailChimp to see if it has gone there automatically. So come to MailChimp. So refresh. Okay, so once you come here, you see that Godwin John has been subscribed here. Okay, so you will now you can now go ahead and create a campaign, set up uh, email sequence, so that as soon as they they sign up, as soon as they fill the form and submit, they get the first email in their inbox. Okay. So that is how to, to collect leads from your Elementor form and send it directly to your MailChimp account automatically. Okay, so if you like this video, please go ahead and click on the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the notification button so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be notified. Okay, so you can also share this with some other people who will also need the information that we share on this YouTube channel. Okay, thank you very much for being here. See you in my next video.